നമസ്കാരം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാലിലെ ലോക്സഭാ തെരഞ്ഞെടുപ്പിൽ കേരളത്തിൽ ബി ജെ പി പയറ്റാൻ പോകുന്ന തന്ത്രങ്ങൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് കർദിനാൽ മാർ ജോർജ് ആലഞ്ചേരി കേന്ദ്ര സർക്കാരിന്റെ പുകഴ്ത്തിയും നരേന്ദ്രമോദിയെ വാഴ്ത്തിയും നടത്തിയിട്ടുള്ള പ്രഖ്യാപനങ്ങൾ ക്രൈസ്തവ ന്യൂനപക്ഷത്തെ ഒപ്പം ചേർക്കാനുള്ള ബി ജെ പിയുടെ നീക്കങ്ങൾക്ക് ബലം കൊടുക്കുന്നതാണ് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാല് ലോക്സഭാ തെരഞ്ഞെടുപ്പിൽ കേരളത്തിലെ ബി ജെ പി ഒരുക്കാൻ കേരളത്തിലെ ബി ജെ പിയുടെ സംസ്ഥാന ഘടകത്തിന് എത്രത്തോളം സാധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇന്ന് നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം പ്രത്യേക അതിഥിയായി ചേരുന്നത് ബി ജെ പിയുടെ കേരള പ്രഭാരി ശ്രീ പ്രകാശ് ജാവ്ഡേക്കറാണ് അദ്ദേഹമായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രത്യേക അഭിമുഖത്തിലേക്ക് എല്ലാ പ്രേക്ഷകർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ജാവ്ഡേക്കർജി വെരി വാം വെൽക്കം ടു ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് ജാവ്ഡേക്കർജി ഐ തിങ്ക് യു നോ യു ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് മലയാളം നോ ആക്ച്വലി നോ no you don't understand even a bit i understands only small things now but not full you go ahead yeah okay um i think it's almost 6 months that um it, it has been 6 months that you have been here as the prabari of yes. bjp so can you tell me briefly about what are the strategies that bjp is going to chalk out in this for this current See, strategy for elections is very simple yeah to win the elections absolutely and but, for winning you have to prepare without efforts you can't have a free lunch so you have to earn it so we are earning it and therefore our main focus is modi is now identified throughout the country and the world that he is a progressive leader for development development and development and to go to people of kerala and talk about what is happening throughout the country and why kerala also should stand behind modi that is our main strategy but you know the ground here in kerala is not that much i i mean um, uh, compatible for the bjp here to win an election because for the, there is no one in the assembly in the state assembly there is no one in the parliament from kerala so B, for bjp it, will, it is going to be a very tough fight here in kerala i so, like tough matches yeah so that's why uh, uh, that's i was why, in uh, charge in manipur uh, in 12 and 17 also in 2012 we got only 3% vote and in 2017 we got 36% vote this happens if you have a plan and confidence in yourself and people then you can do it so what is the what is that factor that gives you confidence here in kerala this time three things one is that 75 years practically people of kerala have seen only two governments yeah ldf udf in a bipolar politics it is very difficult for third pole to emerge still bjp emerge with continuous efforts dedication devotion discipline and more important dedication so they have now 15% vote 12, 12 to 15% votes we have reached but now it's a time for long jump and we will achieve it why i feel because what happened in 2019 election let us understand and what happened in 2021 election that shows the story why there is a tremendous change coming in kerala politics first is 2019 was on the backdrop of shabrimala yeah cpm people were angry on cpm they wanted to teach lesson so our votes also increased because we were in the field but the congress was just giving lip sympathy not in the field but still they got benefit because people wanted to teach lesson to cpm and therefore though they are not uh, udf voters they voted to udf then there was second reason also this is my analysis but they but they didn't prefer bjp <coughs> that time that is what no bjp also increased awards in all its important constituencies at least by 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50000 so that is not true that we didn't improve but we could not win the seat because they wanted to definitely defeat this ldf and my second analysis is 
when Rajiv Gandhi chose Vainad, people first of all, Kerala thought that Modi is a one-time wonder. Oh, he is not in Tamil Nadu, he is not in Kerala. And Kerala we know even in during emergency days after Janta wave, Kerala voted for Congress. So that was the trend that time. And in 19 people thought that Rahul Gandhi will become Prime Minister. And therefore we saw consolidation of their own traditional vote bank and at the same time uh, others also voted for them and so they got 19 seats. But just after that when Modi got second term with higher margins and with higher number of seats, people of Kerala also realized the situation of ground in India had changed and people are voting for Modi because he, is, he has become symbol of development. And therefore, what happened was, in 2021 uh, election, yeah. Congress got only 21 seats in assembly of 146. Why? Because people now know, nobody in Kerala will say Rahul Gandhi will become Prime Minister. Everybody knows that Modi is going to be Prime Minister. So the things are changing. And people want to be on the right side. And people, his schemes have reached people of Kerala in towns. Because what now people have realized of Kerala, that CPM government, LDF government, selects beneficiaries on the basis of their voting preference. Modi doesn't select on that. Kerala has not sent us even one MLA or one MP. But... Millions and millions of people are getting benefits of his scheme directly into their bank account because he doesn't discriminate with states, he doesn't discriminate on the basis of religion, he doesn't discriminate whether he is our voter or not, nothing of that kind. Anybody in the category will get justice. That is the biggest mind-changing game that has taken place silently in Kerala and that I am witnessing every day and that is my stay of confidence that we are winning. Chavdegir ji, did you mean to say that Narendra Modi and the development politics, these two will be the two key words that BJP is Absolutely. going to put before the yes. Kerala people? Absolutely. And not For anything Kerala else. Kerala development, not anything no. Else. There is another angle. He has given individual empowerment through beneficiary schemes. But more importantly, he has given development all over the country in infrastructure and all other uh, technology and uh, digitalization and New India and Make in India and everything. So that has also impacted the youth tremendously. And therefore, people of Kerala have changed. They are ready to change the gear. See, BJP here have all the operational capacity, have all the institutional strength you have all the you mean strong ground for the bjp organizational ground is there but still bjp cannot achieve a goal like you know getting a seat no but that in, will in, in assembly seat. or in the parliament some so election you said even 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 during those sabarimala issue days the beneficiaries were udm so that, that is that the kind of political mindset once. that kerala is having so i am asking that, you will huh. that be Narendra Modi and the Vigasana, Vigas Mantra, these two keywords, will it help in Kerala? And development of Kerala, three mantras. Mantra is Narendra Modi's leadership, the benefit politics and at the same time development of India and Kerala, providing tremendous opportunities for youths and people of the country. So as you know now a new controversy has been looming around in Kerala after the BJP leaders recent Easter visits uh, to the bishops houses you know that and uh, Cardinal George Alangeri has just mentioned Modi's name he has praised Narendra Modi and he said the Christians in India is not facing any kind of threats or any kind of insecurities in India so can I say that BJP is moving or near to the goal of achieving you know uh, capturing the Christian minority votes. Our slogan and philosophy is Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Priyas. 
So that is the policy on which we are traveling all over and in Kerala also. It is not we have only visited Bishop's house. No, you are wrong. We have gone to nearly one lakh Christian houses day before yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I was talking about that Easter day. Easter day, one Easter lakh day? families we have visited. Yeah, okay. With card and everything. Yeah. This was happened for the first time because Modi ji has given the mantra of Sneha Yatra, Sneha Samvad. He said that let us also make new strides to ensure that everybody feels that it is my country, it is my development, it is my participation and uh, yes, this government has tremendous confidence in every citizen of the country. We think 140 crore people, 1.4 billion people as one people, they are all one, they are all Indian and they are all equal and therefore this is the initiative. We went to, to thousands of houses in uh, Christmas days, took our karikatas, took cake and everything. Christians welcome so much. They call them for dinner, they call them for next day lunch, everything. So, both are very happy. It should have happened much earlier, but better late than never. It's purely, and now on Vishu Day, we are calling all our Christian and Muslim friends to our house. Muslims have Rosa, so okay, they will not the, have payasam. Days, yeah. But they will not have payasam, but uh, coins we are giving everybody who will visit our homes. So I would like to know how you comment Our upon. means, again, our is we are all Hindus, Muslim, Christ, Sikh, Isai, Parsi, Christians, everybody is in BJP. Our Hindu karikartas will call, but in Kerala I saw Vishu and Onam are not uh, one religion festival, it is all everybody's yeah. festival, Kerala festivals. As a, as a Kerala <coughs> Prabhari, how you view the Cardinal's uh, you know, praise of Narendra Modi and the central government? This what was to come. In my view, it has come a little late, but it was to come, it was due, because the way Modi ji has conducted throughout the world, he went to Pope and invited him to visit the Pope. In Nagaland, it's a 100% Christian state and it is voting second time Modi ji. And there the are... the demography of uh, Nagaland is entirely different from Kerala. That so is you one minute, different. one yeah. minute. It is nothing about geography. It is nothing about demography. It is about mindset. That mindset change if nobody reads, they will, they will, they will witness it after the election results in 2024. Javdekar did you see that this uh, Cardinal's uh, statement is like uh, stretching the arms to embrace BJP? I am very happy about the statement and the factual statement he made ki that Indian Christians in India don't feel insecure under Modi because he gave it after nine years of real experience. No, Nine uh, years. what I ask is, does it carry a political meaning? See, I, we don't see every, everything is not political. He is cardinal, he is a guide, philosopher, friend of people and he guides them well how to navigate our life. But there is a, there is a different scenario here. We are, face, we are going to face another election and we have 79 Christian organizations uh, uh, protesting in Jandar Mandar against the central government, against the... the, the, the uh, how they are being ill-treated in this country and uh, you know there is a case filed in the Supreme Court stating this kind of attacks that is going on everywhere in the country against Christians. So See, this that is, is the also large background. I will tell you, this is not large background. These are minor uh, incidences happening of crimes anywhere so but they are not in, this is not the character of India. India is not known for this. It is not Afghanistan. And let us also understand, it is not Sri Lanka even. So what is important is that India has emerged as a very strong nation under the leadership of Modi ji. It has developed prestige in all Christian and Muslim countries also of India. Everybody of Kerala who is in foreign countries and there are many, 
so they come to their house and phone and give video call that modi because of modi now when we say indian they are looked upon with pride earlier they were looked down now their people are looking up for india so this is the change modi ji has brought yeah, a, but, but and therefore i don't want to politicize the cardinals very good remarks of fact okay javadekar ji but uh, let me reiterate my question again because you know my question was did you see it as stretching their arms to embrace bjp so words so you said uh, cardinal is something he is a spiritual leader but the spiritual leader he is he is like no no this has this has come as just like a testimony for the christian minority that they believe they trust this government and bjp i have no yes they have trust in the government they have trust in the institutes and whatever codes and somebody has to approach we are a democratic country but there are many anti india uh, agencies also working against and defaming our government and we have seen it but people are not with them people are people are uh, regard cardinals in their best of uh, spirits and therefore i don't want to politicize that is what said cardinals i have never seen cardinal being a political leader so that is not about embracing bjp not embracing and not embracing but it gives it guides it directs it gives a signal and that is very important what is the signal signal is that muslim this either christians and muslims either but he talked about christians christians are never don't feel insecure in india led by modi and they are prospering and we i will not be surprised if pope also decides to visit sometime so later some weeks back another bishop said if you go if the the central government raises the rate of rubber 300 per kilogram they would definitely give a mp from kerala to bjp see so what does that mean what that means their goodwill essentially what is important is we don't bargain votes like that it is not cash or promise we are performing there was a problem of rubber farmers that the rubber compound the report duty of rubber compound was reduced to 10% so 10% duty was uh increased to 25% on the basis of the on the basis of the uh farmers demand so farmers have already started getting good price see this ldf government's 170 minimum price is a nothing but a uh, nothing but it's a political drama we are doing justice to farmers all over and we will continue to do justice with all farmers in the country be it cotton be it uh, uh, sugarcane be it any crop rubber also so you know there is some and special- rubber board in kottayam uh, is doing so many things and we will ensure that rubber production increases rubber production productivity increases rubber usage increases and there is diversification also of crops and many other things so we will think for the betterment of farming community. we have given 26000 what 300 rupees 26000 rupees to all rubber farmers so in last that- 13 installments in 4 years 26000 rupees each so when you say that the bjp should be judged by the christian and muslim community by the performance they have done absolutely. during this tenure absolutely so the it left, Our intention, the, the left and the udf they equally they are speaking against bjp by simply pointing out the bunch of thoughts goldwalker's no. bunch of thoughts see, in which goldwalker has said think, that the main think, enemies in this country see, are the christians the muslims and I'll the communists you, so question. have you is the have the bjp changed their views about this Uh, it's, you are good question you have asked see who is politically or not uh, clear in their views and who is the method of cpm we were in jail during emergency 
when there were cpm cpi fellows in our jail we were 300 youths belonging to sangha parivar they were 2050 2030 of their whole left liberals and left parties we used to call we called every left leader to for speech in our gathering every day but they in 19 months never called a single rss or bjp leader to their uh, meetings so what? why we know that is why who is intolerant we are tolerant so they are intolerant no no, no. I, so I was... communists are dying where are they no no i in, was asking about West, that no that is what i am telling in west bengal they are zero they are zero in tripura they are nowhere so that is okay sir but i but i was asking okay, no no they have that, only no, 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 my states. question was not not that was not that you said you are the protectors of christians you said the bjp is going to protect the muslims Everybody. and the bjp government should be judged by the performance they have Correct. they have exhibited these years okay well done then the ldf and the udf here is questioning the the sincerity of bjp by pointing out the bunch of thoughts and they say in the bunch of thoughts golwalkar has written the main enemies of india are the christians the muslims and the communists mm. is have is bjp ready to 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 correct this or i think that's the question then your channel or you have missed one big occasion what is that 3 years ago sarsang chalak bhagwat ji yeah gave called all press people world and indian press all all media all state media as regional media as everybody was there three, 1000 press and he gave three days answers to any question asked i think that time this question was also asked and he has answered your research team is good they can take out the clip and show it can you can you reproduce no, it because uh, so, yeah. your so, job i i I, minute, i never asked one what minute. i i didn't ask what is the opinion of rss i was asking what is the opinion of bjp that is so, what i am telling so, that i may... i do my work and i will ask you to do your research work so that is okay so huh? i was asking what is your opinion on that no, so, it about is the not about see no, about it the is thoughts we are a progressive country we are 1.4 billion country we are one people one nation and we will continue and strive ahead in the world committee today india is the fifth world's largest economy by 2047 when india achieve attains its 100 years of freedom we will be the very developed country and probably we will be the third largest economy of the world so which means this kind of uh, matters that has been described in the bunch of thoughts is irrelevant and it is not see you it, can see pray you, will you say that it is no, irrelevant i have not said i know i was i am asking you no but i have said only one thing that praise our praise is free we fought for your freedom during emergency my father was sub editor of a journal and when he came he was on the night but your answer has nothing to do with my question no but i am telling you i am not here for a witness or a, you are not yeah, judge yeah sure yeah so uh, when uh, my father came in the morning on 26 he said oh police officers have come and they are censoring i was very much part of and then i was working in bank we are a lower middle class family but i decided to go for satyagraha and oppose the emergency because if you are taking away all freedoms that is lost and that is what we did and therefore we have grown we have fought for the country's preserving independence preserving the freedom of press and that will always be our commitment when you say that bjp and the central government sabke saath hai sabka vikas hai aur uh, uh, sabka say, sabka vishwas hai and then sabka let, prayas hai prayas hai theek hai then let me, let me draw your attention to what is happening in our near state karnataka there was there is a minister whose name is <coughs> muniratna you know muniratna no one he has me, he has been booked can i answer the, you before and for the for the hate you speech. should ask me ki that one what was the reaction of 1 lakh christian families in kerala where our karyakartas went and what was the reaction throughout the world and the christian in india when prime minister first serving prime minister 
yeah. visited uh, sacred heart visited the sacred heart uh, cathedral yeah in delhi yeah. so that is the main thing so but i i'll i'll tell you i am spokesman for now nearly 40 years so i don't fail into traps that is okay fine no i i know you are clever enough to come out of that okay my question again is do you think that you said that all were well accepted by the christian homes the all these bjp leaders were like well accepted do you think that these are all going to get to be changed as votes for the bjp see everything is not vote we are one people one nation so we have to be together in fortunately i am very happy that in kerala it's a big habitat not different habitats it is a different culture and we respect it and therefore the the presumptions of about bjp yes. or some apprehensions about bjp which were there have already disappeared because nine years we are ruling we are not ruling for one year now yeah. so people have seen what bjp is what modi is and people believe in him and even the com- see as modi ji is always saying that my suraksha kavach is people's faith and confidence in me see they people are now saying 20000 crores whose money is this i was going through train people were discussing very poor families they were saying why modi will take money for whom he will take money because he has no family he has brothers and niece and bhatijas and everywhere but he he has not brought anybody in the pm house any time he has renounced the family even during his mother's death we have seen what has happened he went there was no rush no vips and also he said that uh, he took the body in a single a simple car without decoration a simple hearse uh, by corporation and the pyre was not sandalwood pyre was normal wood yeah. so that is modi which people feel he is one of us one of us